In today's video, I will teach you how to add border to images in Photopea. Let's get started. Start by going to Photopea website and opening your image. You can drag and drop your image into the workspace or simply go to File, then Open to load the image. If your image is locked as a background layer, you'll need to unlock it. In the Layers panel, double-click on the lock icon next to the background layer. The layer will become editable and the lock icon will disappear. Now we're going to increase the canvas size to create the border. Start by going to the top menu and selecting Image, then Canvas Size. Then a pop-up window will appear, allowing you to change the canvas size. Now we're going to add space for the border. To do this, increase the width and height values to add space for your border. Make sure to add the same amount on both dimensions. For example, adding 20 pixels to both width and height will give you a 10-pixel border around the image. Then select Relative to ensure you're adding the current canvas size rather than setting a new specific size. Then choose an anchor to set where the image will remain in relation to the border. Center is usually best for even borders on all sides. And once satisfied, you can now click OK. An optional step is adding a solid color border with a new layer. To do this, click the New Layer button at the bottom of the Layers panel. Now choose the Bucket Fill tool, or simply go to Edit, then Fill to fill the new layer with your desired border color. In the Layers panel, drag the new solid color layer below the image layer. This will place the image on top of the color-filled background effectively creating a border. If you need to adjust the image size to fit within the border, simply use the Free Transform tool or press Ctrl T to resize the image layer while keeping the border intact. And once you're satisfied with your border, export the image by going to File, then Export As, then choose your desired file format. Then adjust the settings as necessary and click Save. And you're done! If you find this video helpful, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. And if you want to see more tutorials, turn on the notification bell to get notified whenever we upload new videos.